What if Earth had no moon? If Earth never had a moon, the day would be three to four times shorter since we would have never had the pull of the moon to slow down our spin. The shorter day would cause the winds and weather to be very different, much likely stronger, and there would be no seasons since Earth's rotational axis would still be perpendicular to the plane of orbit around our sun. As a result, plant and animal life would have to evolve differently so as to thrive under these windy conditions. The video clips you see here are from an interactive Minecraft server. They're part of what's called Project Whimsy, what if hypothetical implementations in Minecraft. The goal of Whimsy is to develop computer simulations connected to informal learning experiences that elicit curiosity and generate interest and engagement in STEM. Whimsy leverages Minecraft Java Edition as a learning environment for participants to interactively explore the scientific consequences of alternative versions of Earth. These what-if questions include inquiries like what if Earth had no moon, or what if Earth were rotated 90 degrees on its side axis, as well as other emerging astronomy inquiries like what would it take to terraform Mars, or how do we mine on asteroids? Kids get to explore these questions as aspiring scientists and engineers on an integrative server that changes to match their interests. Along the way, they meet characters that help them understand important scientific variables like atmospheric composition or temperature, as well as how to make observations like a scientist. In doing so, they travel to radically different places in and outside of our solar system, like asteroids or exoplanets. Not only is this super cool, but we're also collecting data on how this triggers interest in related areas of STEM. We combine computational data from logs, user pathways, and quest accomplishments with more qualitative assessments like artifact analysis interviews, surveys, and screen capture. In order to do this, we've partnered with an array of amazing organizations and people to create connected and cohesive informal science learning experiences. They include PBS Nova Labs, where students can learn how we search for exoplanets by looking at transit data, radio velocity, or atmospheric composition in a web-based alien rescue adventure. The Fisk Planetarium, where they can see shows about what-if science scenarios in Minecraft upon the 360-degree dome screen. And through visits by renowned astronomers like Neil Commons to after-school and summer camp programs, these are run in collaboration with powerful community organizations with kids who might not otherwise run into imaginative astronomy. We've even partnered with Ateneo University in the Philippines to replicate our study, server, and data collection techniques with their community networks. Whimsy participants were found to engage deeply during exploration of our worlds and when building together. We have materials on our website for you to build your own Whimsy experience in your classroom or informal learning setting. All of our Minecraft worlds and plugins are open source and we'd love it if you remixed or added onto what we've done. This year, we're excited to introduce a stage where kids can imagine, plan, and build science-based habitats for survival on extreme worlds. Do you think your exoplanet base will hold up? What are you waiting for? Join and find out.